and thank you for joining me. A while back, I made a video about donating blood. Let's use science, not stigma. If you, have a, if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. Please remember to tap that like button. It really helps my video go further. If you're new, hit that subscribe icon. It really helps the overhaul health of my channel. So to this day, the US has a blanket ban on gay and bisexual men from donating blood. Now why is this? We know back in the 80s and early 90s, during the AIDS crisis, the HIV virus was getting through the blood supply and it was spreading through transfusions. But times have changed. Currently in Canada, if you're a man donating blood, they ask you if you have sex with another man within the last three months. And if you're a woman donating, they ask if you, she had sex with a man who had sex with another man within the last 12 months. Now, couldn't they just easily lie and then go ahead and donate? We know that screening the blood for diseases is very reliable and safe. Canadian Blood Services are preparing to ask Health Canada to scrap the questions about gender and sexuality. Instead, they would ask about sexual behavior and like how many sexual partners they had within a time period. Again, people can just lie. You say, I haven't had sex in over a year. How do they prove it? I don't get it. I truly believe this is no longer needed in 2021. It's time to move forward. It kind of makes me upset. Me being HIV positive and undetectable, I cannot donate blood. But I understand why. The virus is still laying dormant in my cells, but it's not affecting my overall health. A side note, my body is fighting this every day. I take treatment and I can feel that I have low energy at times more than I ever used to. People need to remember that. I hate that question, especially when I'm at work. You look tired. Well, yeah, I'm working every day and I'm going through this. I'm not, I'm getting older. I'm still like, what, 45, but I'm still getting up there, I guess. I'm hearing advances of, for a vaccine for HIV through mRNA, which is the vaccine they use for COVID-19. That's incredible. Research has begun this past September of 2021. Here's hoping for huge advances towards HIV prevention, treatment, and an eventual cure. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. For now, Michael K here. Take care, everyone. Mm -hmm.